welcome to this episode of Trojan Poetry. Once again, I've chosen the poem. Mike has not read it. Mm -hmm. uh, this one I found very intriguing because it is a riff on Walt Whitman, one of my favorite mm. poets, of course. Uh, Trojan Poetry number one was Walt Whitman. If anybody's a Whitman fan, <laughs> it is John. I am the world's biggest Whitman fan. That's no, right. In fact, I challenge you... No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Who are you challenging Walt Whitman? Yes. Rise well, from the grave. We're Walt. all Walt Whitman. Yeah, all the, I forgot about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is called What is the Grass by Mark Doty. Here we go. On the margin in the used text I purchased without opening, pale green dutiful vessel, some unconvinced student has written in a clear looping hand, isn't it grass? How could I answer the child? I do not exaggerate. I think of her question for years. And while first I imagine her the very type of incurious, revealing the difference between a mind at rest and one that cannot, later I come to imagine that she had faith in language. That was the difference. She believed that the word settled things. The matter need not be looked into again. And he, who'd written his book over and over, nearly ruining it, so enchanted by what had first compelled him, for him, the word settled nothing at all. Hmm. So I don't know, Mike, if you're familiar, but Walt Whitman has a poem called, uh, ooh, I forget what it's called. I don't know if you give it a title, but it's a whole poem where a child brings him a handful of grass and says, what is this? Mm. And then Walt Whitman spends... 50 lines kind of imagining what grass is mm -hmm. and coming up with metaphors and ideas about grass. And so that's what this is a reference to. So okay. I'm sorry. To, yeah, so yeah. the book is Leaves of Grass, perhaps, and this child wrote something in the yes. margin, or yes. the speaker is thinking back to Leaves of Grass because of the line that she wrote. I think this, the poet Mark Doty, the speaker, has a copy of Leaves, of Leaves of, grass of Grass that a right. student wrote in. Right. And the student got to the poem and it said, I don't know what grass is. And the student said, <laughs> isn't, it isn't it grass? Right, huh? Right? Yeah, and right. I think we've had students who are like that, right? They're oh, very, well, very quote, unquote, literal. Yeah. And it is hard, right? I love the line, at first I imagined her the very type of incurious, right? Just like they don't, they're not curious about it. But then he's like, no, this is a person who trusts words. She had faith in language. Right. She believed that the words settled things. The matter need not be looked into again. And speaking of poems, I can't remember the title too. This reminds me of way back one of the first Trojan poetries we did, the um, the poem about watching the child draw something and then mm -hmm. the hand became Margaret the Atwood. Margaret yeah. Atwood. Yeah. Yes. You begin. Yes, you begin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it reminded me of this almost where he's watching the child by proxy through the book right. and thinking of what she must have been thinking and doing right. at the time. And um, that's a good question. Isn't it grass? I get asked that all the time as an English teacher. <laughs> like, really? That's yeah. a metaphor? Are you right. sure the author really intended right. that? And right. yes, yes, they did. Right. And we're reading um, As I Lay Dying in my class right now, and the whole book kind of becomes a, a discussion about what are words. Oh, yeah. And can words work? And Addie Bundren has a famous, you know, like, words aren't anything, words don't mean anything. So I just, it's a poet thinking about language, mm -hmm. responding kind of to a, or use springboarding from a student comment. And this, the, I think the poet actually walks away with a deeper understanding of the world. This poet... Yeah. Mark Doty walks away with a deeper understanding of the world, understanding that not everybody questions language like English teachers and poets right. do, right? And, and that's okay. You is that valid? Your, right? Yeah, you have to make your peace with that. Right, I mean, right. Uh, the one thing, though, that still is, is hanging on for me is that last stanza. He who'd written his book over and over, nearly ruining it, right. which is Whitman himself, yeah. so enchanted by what had first compelled him, for him... The word settled nothing at all. Right. So Whitman wrote Leaves of Grass like for 50 years. Right. right? And, and he, he just kept revising it and yeah, revising additions. it. Yeah. 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 So yeah. you can go too far. Yeah. Right. At some point, when do you trust language to actually work? Yeah. Well, art isn't perfection. And yet he was trying to achieve perfection, it seems like, by this need to constantly right. revisit it and go back. And this kid wrote three words and done. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> the end. Right. And he even, like Waldman at some point in one of the end poem does say, maybe it's just grass, but then he has all these other ideas. And I'll link to that poem. It's, yeah. You know. 
And he's like, that's boring, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, right, right. And it becomes a whole extended metaphor for yeah. a lot of I'm stuff. I'm sure this so. kid went on to be a great engineer or, you know, yeah. mathematician. And, Could hey, be, here's right? the, here it is. Here's the answer. So I can a nice ask. reminder for us English types. <laughs> Not everybody has that same... Right. Senses the same instability. Yeah, right. I can always language. identify the kids who are the STEM kids, who are the math, science <laughs> kids in my class, because they always get so frustrated that there is no definite answer sometimes, and sometimes that's okay. You right. have to you have to work with that. Or, and sometimes there is. Yeah. that's what the poet would get frustrated. Like it, right. It's like, and then you reverse it. We would get frustrated that sometimes there is a right answer, maybe. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Join us again on Trojan Poetry. Uh, be sure to check out our website at trojanpoetrydgn.blogspot.com. And check us out on Twitter at Trojan Poetry DGN.